Hi, I'm Crispino Lobo of the Watershed Organization Trust. Water has now almost completed 25 years of engagement in rural India. We were founded with the following beliefs. Number one, that the poor can help themselves out of poverty if they adequately support it. And number two, in rural India, where agriculture is the mainstay of livelihoods and sustenance, unless we increase the productivity of agriculture, we wouldn't be able to reduce rural poverty. And a key limiting constraint in improving the productivity of agriculture is water. So we decided that we are going to organize villages to harvest the rainwater that falls in their watersheds and along the landscapes on which they work and live in. We decided to organize communities to undertake watershed development. Now watershed development is basically harvesting rainwater as and where it falls. Now the value of watershed development has more than proven itself over the decades. We ourselves at the Watershed Organization Trust have supported and implemented nearly 2,000 such watershed projects. And in most cases, the problem of water scarcity has been solved. We also noticed that in the last 10 years in particular, the climate had been changing. In other words, weather, the, the local weather was now playing truant. There was a high degree of variability. Rains would not come on time. And when they came, they wouldn't be falling in the quantity that was expected. And they came at different times. And so we decided to move beyond watershed development. Of course, it meant also doing watershed development, but now with a difference. So water decided to move fully into building the adaptive capacities of rural communities to climate change. And so water has been, since the last six years, doing a large-scale pilot program on climate change adaptation across three states involving over 72 villages. It meant, of course, looking at the whole issue of how do we use water that is harvested more efficiently, more conservatively, more productively. How do we get more crop per drop? We need to look at renewable energy. We need biodiversity. We need to look at agrometrology because farmers needed to be forewarned of likely weather events and given advice on how to cope with those events what crop management practices they should adopt, what pests and diseases are likely to, fall on, uh, to happen to their crops. So we moved into the whole issue of providing real-time weather-based crop advisories to farmers. And through all this we realized that the key to building adaptive capacities at scale is knowledge. We needed to acquire practical knowledge of what was actually happening in the field. Water has decided to set up a center of adaptation research and practice. We need to understand how climate variability is actually affecting our rural communities, how those impacts ripple through the local economy, uh, and what are the adaptive responses of people to this climate change. This center of excellence will undertake rigorous research at the ground level, which is multidisciplinary, and using cutting-edge knowledge systems to understand how climate change is actually impacting the rural people, how it plays itself out in, in regard to its impact on natural resources, on water, on agriculture, biodiversity, livelihoods, and energy. These will be the thematic areas of our focus. To develop strategies, tools, methodologies, to roll out adaptive practices across the country, to build up the capacity of policymakers, program designers, program managers, development practitioners, and rural communities to be able to undertake and implement adaptation-related measures and re resilience building measures. This center will also spearhead the forming up or the creating of communities of interest and mutual learning and build networks and partnerships that can help shape policy so that it influences and, develop and, and results in effectively designed programs which are well implemented on the ground. That is the mandate of the Center for Adaptation Research and Practice. I'm happy to inform you that through the efforts of NABARD and Water since the last few years, the government has set up the National Adaptation Fund with a budgetary allocation of 150 crores which will be managed by NABARD. This center will partner with the National Adaptation Fund and other agencies to rapidly upscale adaptation practices across India to begin with and eventually to Africa and South Asia.